What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com. Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. That's right. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well because today we're talking about the same sex that we're having right now. No, we're not going to talk about humans having sex or having sex in your aquarium or even fish having sex in the aquarium. But we are going to talk about the parallels of unprotected sex and bringing that sexy yet potentially nasty fish home with you from the pet store. So here we go. Let me start by saying all of us wouldn't be here if it weren't for unprotected sex and frankly most of us wouldn't have fish that we have in our aquariums if it weren't for those shops with those fish. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't use protection when you bring them skanks home with you. So you roll into the shop, she catches your eye, she might even give you a look. You spend some time hanging out, you might even feed her. You decide it's time to go home together. You take her home, you might even dim the lights if you're a gentleman. You guys hang out for a little bit. And you're getting ready to stick it in. Now stop. Before you go sticking it in there, what would your fish tank family think if you went and got crazy and was unprotected and brought some disease into your loving fish tank? Now look, I'm dicking around with this, but the truth of the matter is that I'm in the middle of doing a redo on my 220, and I'm not about to put any skank fish from Deathco onto this sucker that can go in and wipe out my entire tank. You think Gary don't carry Lang just brings random fish into his place and starts putting them in his other tanks? Heck no. You think Mike Barber brings random fish home from Death Co and puts them in his main system? Nope, the man's got an entire separate system. That's a quarantine pack. Okay. Fish for about two months and make sure nothing's wrong. Now look, we've all gotten away with bringing them fish skanks home from the pet store and putting them directly in our tanks unprotected. But that doesn't mean you can't end up with some bumps, a rash, or some shit on your lips. Not to mention killing all your fish. So use a quarantine tank. If you've got a spare tank, set it up. Put it aside, watch your fish for about a month. You don't have the space for a quarantine tank, buy the fish at the pet store and make them hold it for a week or so. If something's going to go down with that fish, you want it to go down in their aquarium, not yours. Here's the bottom line, folks. I'm about to add 400 neon tetras to this bad boy behind me here. You think I'm going to go roll unprotected and put them skanks directly in my tank? Heck no. I'm not running the risk of killing my pink plecos from Chuck Bramer, the quarry cats I collected in Peru, and the bows mining that I bred myself. Use a quarantine tank, folks, and use a condom.